Yo, Mark. <laughs> These clowns really do not care about depth outside the gameplay aspect. Like, we can literally give them a training mode. An online service that barely even worked. And guess what? They will still buy it at full price. <laughs> they will still buy it at full price. And on top of that, they will ask us to make more games like Naruto Fighters. Like, don't these people understand? We're literally charging the full price for a beta. <laughs> Who goes there? Sir, it's me. Oh, it's just you, Kunle. What do you want? So I have an idea that could boost our sales tremendously. I call it Naruto Ultimate Ninja Fighter. This could be one of the greatest Naruto games of all time. Ooh, that's what I like to hear from you, Kunle. Take a seat, man, and tell me about these ideas that you got for this company. So I was thinking that we could put more work into the games by adding a detailed story mode, features like King of the Hill, and maybe even co-op as well. And maybe we could make the online servers even better to provide the perfect gaming experience. I don't think you understand how this company works. All we care about is gameplay. Besides, our consumers will literally accept anything just as long as the gameplay is good, just as long as they got their training mode and they got their online mode, they will accept the game. We can literally release a half-finished game and promise that the rest of the content will come out later on down the line and they will still pay full price. <laughs> oh my lord, man. We literally be releasing demos and they will still be accepting it. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy! <laughs> Isn't that wrong? What's wrong is you trying to add additional work and money into our games. Like, bro, all we care about is gameplay. So get your crusty black ass out of my office before I put effort into making you unemployed. 